Duo Learning. Welcome to School Duo Learning, where fun meets learning. In this video, we will be discussing state and matter. State and matter. Matter is everything around us. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Some examples are the food we like to eat, water, the places we like to visit, the house we live, the air we breathe in and out, we humans, the air around us, our pet dogs, cats, stones, etc. Matter can exist in three main states. Solid, definite shape and volume. Liquid, definite volume, but takes the shape of its container. Gas, no definite shape or volume, fills the entire space of its container. Properties of solids, one, solid has a fixed shape and a fixed volume. Two, solid cannot be compressed. Three, solids have a high density. Four, force of attraction between the particles in a solid is very strong. Five, the space between the particles of solids is negligible. Properties of liquids, one, liquids do not have definite shapes. They take the shape of the container, but have a definite volume. Two, the particles of liquids are loosely packed than the particles in solids. Three, they can be compressed to a small extent. Properties of gases. One, gases have neither a fixed shape nor a fixed volume. Two, gases can be compressed easily. Three, gases have the least density among the three. Four, intermolecular forces of attraction are weakest. Five, the space between the gas particles is large. Solid is rigid, fixed shape, fixed volume, cannot be squashed. Liquid is not rigid, no fixed shape, fixed volume, cannot be squashed. Gas is not rigid, no fixed shape, no fixed volume, can be squashed. Change of state of matter. Matter can change states depending on its environment, subjected to heat, freezing or cooling, etc. A good example is water. Water in form of ice is solid. Water in form of steam or vapor is gaseous. Water at normal room temperature is liquid. Water freezes to become ice. Ice melting to become liquid. Boiling of water forms water vapor or steam. Cooling of water vapor or steam forms liquid droplets. This process is called condensation. The process of converting ice to steam is sublimation. The conversion of steam to ice is deposition. Thanks for watching with us. Please subscribe for great learning contents and hit the like button if you like this video. Also, visit our website at schoolduolearning.com to explore other amazing materials.